Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in this video I will show you more changes in Android 11 Developer Preview 1 that you probably didn't see before. Beside the big changes that you saw in other videos like screen recording, bubbles and so on, there are more changes being spotted over time since the release on the 19th of Feb. So I collected most of them to show you in this video but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. I have here my Pixel 3 XL with Android 11 Developer Preview 1 and the Pixel 4 XL with Android 10 to show you the differences. I know I should have installed Android 11 on my Pixel 4 XL instead but this is my daily driver and I didn't want to uninstall a very early build on it but I assure you I will do that when it becomes more stable so let's start with the changes. So the first change I will show you here is the new animation you get when you scroll through your home screen. On the Pixel 3 XL with Android 11 you get this little bounce when you swipe to the left and the right which is not the case with Android 10 on my Pixel 4 XL there is no bounce animation when you scroll through your home screen so let me show you this one more time so it's a very small change but I do like how it looks another change related to the animations if you go to the settings on Android 10 and Android 11 and the tab the search bar at the top you will see this animation that goes from the top left corner diagonally to the bottom right corner which is not the case with Android 10 you don't get the same animation so let me show you this one more time here you go and on Android 10 it's a totally different animation so that's also another small change in the animations of Android 11. There are also a lot of changes under settings that I'm going to show you one by one. And the first one here is under sound. When you go to sound on Android 11 and 10, you see now it's called ring and notification volume, where on Android 10 it's just called ring volume. Also, when you go to the now playing feature, now you see different text at the bottom. Here you have two icons with separate text and here you only have one icon but both of them say pretty much the same thing and there is no functional changes here. The next change is under the accessibility menu. If you go to accessibility on both devices and then you go to the magnify feature. Now you see two different screens. So beside the visual difference, you get more options with Android 11. So the first thing you get here is a new shortcut to activate the magnification feature, which is hold volume keys for one second. This option is not available on Android 10. You only get triple tap to magnify or magnify with the shortcut by swiping from the bottom of the screen with two fingers. But here you have three different options and the new one is hold the volume keys for one second. Other options you get under the magnify feature with Android 11, if you go to magnification settings, now you have a new option called magnification area. Now you can choose between entire screen or part of the screen. You can choose both of them or you can only pick one of them. So I tried both and I didn't notice a difference. So please let me know in the comments if you know what the difference between the two because when I triple tap while activating the entire one or the part of the screen it actually do the same exact thing I couldn't see any difference here also you have another toggle here called the magnification enable and if you turn that on let me show you this yeah so if you turn that on that will give you full screen. If you turn it that off, it gives you part of screen. But I'm not sure about the difference. So if you know, please let me know in the comments below. Another change under the accessibility menu on Android 11. Now you have the system gesture or system navigation here under the accessibility menu to choose the type of uh, system navigation you want, which is not the case here on Android 10. So you only have, the last thing you have here is vibration and the haptic strength. 
but here you have a new option called system navigation which is under accessibility not only under system like android 10. the next change is for the do not disturb menu under settings so let me zoom in to show you this the first change here is the toggle button moved from the bottom towards the top which makes more sense to me now also the do not disturb text shifted a little bit from the top towards the bottom i'm not sure if this is a bug or that's the normal behavior because other menus always showing the text beside the back button like the pixel 4xl but maybe this is a bug that will be fixed in the future also the exceptions are now classified into a different logic on android 11 you get people apps alarms and other interruptions while on android 10 you get calls messaging and see all exceptions the difference here when you go to people on android 11 you will get the exceptions for calls and messages all together in one place while on android 10 you have them separated here you have the exceptions for calls and you need to go back and go to messages if you want to change the exceptions so now it's easier to reach and they are all in one place logically classified under people next the apps and when you go here you should see the applications that can override the do not disturb feature and to achieve this you need to go to the app itself under apps and notifications and then go to notifications and here you have the type of notifications and if you want to uh, override the do not disturb you need to, do to toggle this button right here and once you do this you will be able to see it under the apps exceptions under the do not disturb feature i'm sorry one second yep here you go i have youtube subscriptions can override the do not disturb feature and the final one is called the alarms and other interruptions and here the equivalent one to it is called see all exceptions so when there is a big difference between the two when you go to see all exceptions here it will show you each and every exception you have including the calls and the messages but here you don't have this you only have the other things that are not showing under people or apps so here it will show you everything consolidated all together but here it will show you only the other things uh, but they are pretty much the same there is no difference here only the text is different here it says allow alarms here it says alarms only here it says play media sounds here it says media sounds so the text is shorter and it's not redundant like on android 10 here it says allow touch sounds allow reminders allow events but here the word allow does not exist which is cleaner and the final thing i want to show you now is the quick settings icons recoloring as you see here i have four different colors in my quick settings I have the blue, yellow, red, and green, and those are the only available colors at the moment. And to achieve this, you will need a PC with the platform tools of Android installed to be able to send ADB commands to your device. I will leave in the description two articles, one to show you how to use ADB commands and the other one to show you how to recolor your quick settings icons. It even looks better when you activate the dark theme, as you see here. The icons are colorful and they look nice with the dark theme turned on. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the extra changes I managed to get my hands on with Android 11 Developer Preview 1. I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.